Hey Commanders, today we are going to do a fresh start. This is episode 38, not often I get to say that. And I get to say that because we have to record voiceover separate on this one. It's a voiceover one, it is not a voice while we play. And the reason is, we got the file without any sound files. So, or without any soundtracks. So, not sure why, and had already deleted it from the, the source files that it generates from from the computer that we re-record on by the time I realized it. So, we got this one. Um, we have to explore a zone, which ninjas are good for because they can jump. And uh, if we have the triple jump, then we will move right along. All we have to do is build the radar towers, explore the map. That fulfills it. And what I'm going to do is those things and then I'm gonna not make you sit and wait out the rest of the timer for the mission I'll skip to the end and we will move along it will make this a reasonably length I mean these are all longer than I would like but they all have to show you you know what the quest item is so this one will be under 15 minutes when we're all completely done which is not bad for this series not great for you know a video but i hope you enjoy it there's gameplay and you know we show you the quest you've probably explored fully explored zones by now i mean we are getting up there in power level we're halfway through clankerton which is pretty nice all right so as usual turn toward one of the markers on the mini map now interestingly these towers do not show up on the big map when you're in a build the radar grid mission. They don't show up on the full size map. See, only the ones that you've already exposed, just like any other objective. But on the mini map, you can see where all of them are in a vague direction. So use the mini map to figure it out, but we're here now we can do this one. I've said this before, the key to all of these is to get a pattern and follow it. Because the more you follow it, the more you'll tweak it and make it better, and the faster you'll get at it. Um, I've, I'm thinking about doing a video where I just walk through each of the different radar towers and show you how I do it. Which isn't necessarily the only way or the best way, but it is a way to get them done fast. Um, I have done all three towers and been done with the uh, main objective for this mission type in about five minutes in the past. Uh, this one's more than that, but not a lot more. This one's probably closer to 10, which is a fair amount, right? I mean, but, but 10 is half the time, and I'm solo, right? And, it's unfortunate you can't build all the radar towers and then and then be done but that's all right we have time to do stuff here and if you have other dailies and such this is a good way to get them done because you can quick throw out the towers once you're once you're familiar with how to make each one you can burn out the towers really quick and uh and then go do your dailies all right that was a little off from how I normally do it, but not too bad. And we are moving along. Wow. Struggled there for a second. Did you see that? <laughs> now, to surprise, no random husks have shown up. Usually, you start building a radar tower, they are there. Coming up to beat on you, but we haven't seen anything yet. That's kind of cool. I'm sure we will in one of these at least. Alright, so if you look on the survivor radar, it says 38 to 39, so something's not here. And that means I forgot something usually. Yeah, that one. And on this particular layout, this is the piece I forget the most. Don't forget it very often anymore because I've done it a bunch of times, but every once in a while I still leave it out. Alright, well, <clears throat> there's the first one. Time to move off to number two as soon as we collect our present. 
All right. Again, look on the mini map and head toward what you guess will be the nearest exclamation point. Because you can't see them on the overall overview map, um, you can't be sure. You just have to pick a direction and run with it. Since we want to explore the entire map anyway, not that big a deal if we pick the wrong direction. I think I'm going to. Uh, I think I'm going to upgrade the Templar to gold. That's been serving really well. So make a legendary version of it. And have some fun. All right. So this is not my favorite, but it is one of the ones I enjoy making more. It's a pretty straightforward radar tower with a couple of cool twists, like this is the only one with the stairs that go that direction, stuff like that. Alright. One thing you do want to do is make sure you have plenty of materials when you start building these. Um, particularly in Ventures, don't go into a radar grid mission in Ventures unless you're sure you have the materials because you can't check, right? You have to. Um, I've gone in and found I've had 65 metal, which means you either avoid metal towers or you harvest a bunch of metal before you build one because 65 is only six builds and none of these towers is under uh, I think 19 is the smallest of all of them and usually you're gonna run up in the mid 20s so 19 would be 190 and I only had 65 so what is that three times yeah right about there's a chest in this hut how nice all right we have two radar towers done. We don't want to get distracted here. We want to do the third one and then we want to, you know, um, travel across the entire map and get the explorer badge so that we can complete that quest item. Yeah, move it along. So we're at 13.54, and it's a 20-minute mission, so eh, it's not going to be too bad. This being the last one. Again, this is not my favorite build, but it's not horrible. I guess none of them are horrible once you learn them. Um, some of them, this is probably one of them, so is the last one, are a little more painful than others. Whoa. <laughs> Try that again. There we go. And then, can I put this floor? There we go. Now, not bad at all, as you see. Pretty quick to build. The fact that it's in metal doesn't hurt us in this instance. 3,000 is our maximum for this account right now, so so each uh, type has you know, a decent amount, pretty close to half for wood, and almost max for the other two. Huh. We got visited by a taker. Did we turn on the... Yeah. Alright, finish these guys up. And as soon as we go get... Yeah the present, we can go start exploring. Now, all we want to do is expose the entirety of the map. I think I'll go down, I think I go down here, um, just because there's a high percentage of safes in these. Look at that, there's a safe. And a good chest. Nice. And the chest's guardian. That makes sense. House cleaning. Man.
So we're going to grab this chest, and then I think probably time to get out of here. We do have 11 minutes left, so it's not like we're tight for getting the zone explored. we got plenty of time, but, you know. I like to make sure it gets done. And for some reason, I waited till now to go, eh, I should go hit that survivor shelter. So now there's a marker for where the survivor is on the map. Hopefully we'll have time to find him. All right. And we're off and running. So the point of this is not to get wrapped up in fights and get sidetracked. It's to get around the map as fast as you can and expose it all. Afterward, you can go fight anything you see that you want to fight or go, you know, explore things you want to explore. And having that third jaunt, the mantis leap, is nice. Gives you a little bit more oomph. Alright, we are getting there. Always that one guy. And then others always come when you shoot the one guy. You know. Fuck, they're coming up everywhere. Yeah, this is getting more complicated than I want to be. There's a survivor here somewhere. There they are. All right. <coughs> Blubber. Dead. Another one. Jeez. And we're off. You want to kill that propane husky before he chucks his propane at you. And the Xenon bow has a lot of nice attributes, but it does not set propane on fire. Is this basement a bunker? It is not, but it's got a chest in it just the same. Yeah. Eight minutes left, and we're doing okay on exposing... The entire island, those are just lights, so no big deal. Let's get out of here. There we go, zones explored, one of one. So that does it. I'll take it to the end, and here's our treasures, some gold, survivor XP, schematic XP, a fresh start. Hero XP, and <laughs> a Kyle we probably won't use. And a little bit of lightning in a bottle, which will come in handy. That's it. Thank you for watching. If you got anything out of it, please like and subscribe. You all been wonderful. Talk about us on social media. Mr. Mean Raindrop. Gone.